Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we'll be talking about navigations on Windows 10 with regards to the touch screen on its desktop mode, touch screen on its laptop mode, and also its touchpad. Windows has always been the best machine when you're using keyboard and mouse. Arguably, the touch screen is dominated by iPads and uh, MacBooks is the king when it comes to the touchpad. I think that has changed in 2016 with um, Windows 10 on the touch screen as well as on touchpad. At least it has come to the point of iPads and MacBook standard. I'm not sure if Windows 10 has superseded them in this regard, but I think it has come at least very close to iPad and MacBooks in terms of navigations using this input. Let's look at it and what has Windows 10 done. So in desktop mode, I'll, I'll be using Microsoft Edge as, a, as an example. So you want to have two windows all together. In iPad, what you want, what, what you need to do is to swipe from the right and then pull one of the apps that you want to do a split screen. You press it and then pull the middle bar here, left and right. But in Windows 10, um, it's quite easy. Just open up any two windows, pull this, put it on the side, and press this. That's it. And you can do two windows split screen at the same time. Or if you want um, anything else, uh, let's say um, Netflix. Um, put it to the right and you have your Win Microsoft Edge on one side and your Netflix on the right. And um, it's easy. It's really easy. If you want to make a window full screen, double tap it or do this. Swipe the top bar here to the top of the, of the screen and you got a full screen. Okay, double click again to minimize. If you are in the tablet mode, um, there are some additional gestures you can use. For example, to close the um, windows if you notice here the, the x signs on the window microsoft edge here has disappeared when i'm in tablet mode so in a tablet mode when you want to close a windows just do this swipe from the top from the top to the bottom on the top bar here and you will be closing the windows whichever one that you have opened okay just do this let's look at um, the keyboard there you go um, da, 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 da. There it is. You can move around by pressing this button here, wherever you want to put, or if you want to make it stuck to the bottom, you can press this. Otherwise, just lift it maybe here or maybe here. Okay, so good. Now that I'm in Microsoft Edge, I'd like also to show how much Microsoft Edge has improved in terms of navigation using touchscreen and I really like that. It's because of its function here. Let's say I've gone to this page, I want to go back, you press here, and you got it. Or, or, very easy, you swipe from any place in the website, swipe from left to the right and you can go back to the previous page if you want to return to the page earlier on you swipe from right to the left this is brilliant uh, it's so much easier to 
navigate, browse the website using touch screen in this way, which is, this is similar to iPad, but uh, with iPad, you need to swipe from left to right from the edge of the screen here. They are equally good, but I'm very glad Microsoft Edge has caught up in the game. So it also works on Google Chrome. So I have to open uh, Google Chrome. If you want to go back, other than tapping or clicking on the back button, you can swipe from left to the right, right to go back to the previous page. And then do the opposite to go forward to the next page. Let's talk about the touchpad. If Windows 10 is to do well in laptop department, touch, touchpad has to be very good. MacBook has set standard in touchpad. Um, I'm quite glad that Windows has finally caught up again in that regard. So you got the mouse here. Open up Microsoft Edge as usual, maximize it. And um, let's go on to this one. Go back using two fingers and the scrolling is smooth by the way. See, it's very, very smooth. And uh, you want to go back, swipe from left to right using two fingers, just like, the, just like how we used the touch screen earlier on and two finger swipe from right to the left to go back. There you go. However, it doesn't work on the Google Chrome. So if I use two fingers, it doesn't work. So in this case, um, Microsoft Edge still has a little bit of edge over Google Chrome. Apart from that, Windows 10 has also included three finger navigation. So what does it do? It actually does the same thing as Alt Tab. And now you don't need to use Alt Tab. Let's open out another window and any other stuff. Let's say um, program here. So other, if you want to switch between the apps other than clicking the actual program on the taskbar what you can do is using three finger swipe from left to the right just to to go to the program that you desire so i'm on the microsoft edge i want to move on to maps see or if i want to go to file explorer three finger and you will get it. This is brilliant. And if you want to go to the desktop using three finger, swipe from top to the bottom and you got your desktop. It's easy. See? Three finger, swipe to the bottom and if you want to go back, swipe up. If you want to go to task view using three gestures, swipe from from anywhere to top and you got the task view where you can choose any programs you like thank you for watching that's all for this video i hope to see you in the next video